Hi there, I'm Undine Mond and today is the 12th of February 2013. The latest and greatest find in terms of our world getting smaller and smaller and Big Brother becoming more of a reality is rapid... Let me just check that for a second, this is how fresh it is is Rapid Information Overlay Technology, also known as Riot. You go to this website, you put in someone's name who you want to know information about, and the information drawn is from four of the major social networking sites. It then gives you the information that you would find on Twitter, if you were to be following them on Twitter, or Foursquare, where they've checked in. But the difference is that it gives you results from the past, and it gives you enough information that you can predict where that person is going to be. The example that I saw when I learned about this was a guy that goes to the gym most frequently out of all the places he goes to. And he goes there at 6 o'clock most often on a Monday. So if you're wanting to find this guy, now you know where to go at what time on what day. Pretty scary. Tesco is the most recent retailer to be found selling horse meat. Their spaghetti bolognese has at least 60% horse meat in it. Six, zero percent. So it's more horse meat than beef, just in case you don't understand how percentages work. <laughs> how they found out about this is thousands of horses have started to go missing in Ireland. 70,000 to be precise. So that's 70,000 horses now it, uh, I can't even finish that sentence. It's disgusting. Zero Dark Thirty is a movie that has done pretty well at the box office, mainly because of the torture scene that has been in the headlines. If you haven't heard about it, if you haven't heard of Zero Dark Thirty or heard about the torture scene, it is really intense. I did turn away a couple of times, but go watch it. Really great film. It's about the capture and the hunt for Osama bin Laden, which is based on a true story. So the man in real life, who is nameless, his name and information is still classified, of course, came forth recently to give an interview with Esquire magazine. Esquire magazine. Very good interview, uh, intense story about how the actual shooting does go down, so I recommend reading the article and watching the movie. And this guy, Shooter, as they call him in the article, now works as a video game technician and advisor because he can't get any other work. He can't tell people what he's done, so he's just a mid 30 year old guy. That's some justice for you. Keeping it closer to Cape Town, tuk tuks may be more frequently seen on the roads in Cape Town. Tuk tuks are the three wheeled vehicles more often seen in India zipping through the streets. The city of Cape Town recently pulled the 10 licenses that they were permitting this one company to acquire and only gave them one. It's a good thing. These things are dangerous. We have enough crazy taxis as it, on, as it is on the road. We don't need something else messing things up, to put it lightly. So keep your eyes peeled for more bad driving in Cape Town. And lastly, Facebook has yet again been taken to court for copying someone else's idea. Social Network the movie, anyone? Part 2. Rembrandt is claiming that Facebook has stolen the famous like button from Joss Vandermeer, who used it in 1998 with one of the first social networking sites, Surfbook. Good luck with that. <laughs> okay, so the Pope is out. He's resigned. I can't help but do it using my thumb now. <laughs> the Pope is out, some other guy is yet to be put in, and in the running is the lineup to what sounds like a great joke. There's a Canadian, a Nigerian, a Ghanaian, and an Italian. These are the four runners. <laughs> Literally, there's four of them. And that's all you need to know right now. My money's on the Ghanaian. Then they could be nice. If you didn't know today's Shrove Tuesday, which also is known as Pancake Tuesday. Below there's a link to making some awesome pancakes, whether or not you're actually following Lent, which begins tomorrow, which is what Shrove Tuesday signifies. So whether or not you're actually Catholic, go make some pancakes. I recommend Nutella and bananas. And see you later.